What is up ladies and generals, four eyes in here coming at you, coming through. Today we are ranking all 20 perks in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on how good they are. These are just my thoughts and opinions after playing over 70 hours of Modern Warfare 2. We are going to start with the base perks, then the bonus perks, and we are going to end off with the ultimate perks. So starting off, we have the perk Overkill, which allows us to carry two primary weapons. In my opinion, this is easily a S tier perk. It's within the realm of the best perks in the game, especially when you combine it with the bonus perk Fast Hands, which I will be covering later on in this video. The combinations are endless. You can have a assault rifle, then a shotgun to cheese people up close. You can also rock a SMG, then pull out a sniper for those long range engagements. You could even imitate your favorite ninja turtle by rocking your favorite primary and a riot shield to protect your flank. The next perk up is double time which doubles your tactical sprint duration and increases your crouch movement speed by 30%. Because Modern Warfare 2 is so campy and slow paced, this perk really isn't one that you need. You can also melee cancel or equipment and lethal cancel to reset your tactical sprint which is why I rank it in the B tier. The most use I get out of double time is during the beginning of a match. I can take routes to power positions, especially in search and destroy. Besides that, because of the slow nature of the game design, double time doesn't feel as powerful as it was in the past. Battle Hardened is next and I think it's a solid perk. It's pretty much tactical mask in past Call of Duties. It's easily a S tier perk, especially if you play a lot of objective games. I really like using it to counter the flashbangs in this game because they are so bright. It really feels like I'm getting flashbanged in real life. Don't tell anyone, but sometimes I get scared to turn my head because there could be some big brolic dude named Requise standing behind me. Moving on to Scavenger, it's a B tier perk. It used to be very strong like in the original Modern Warfare 2 in 2009. You could replenish equipment and ammo. But here in 2022, we have something called a munitions box that is another option for you to use. It's also a lot safer since you don't have to walk over your enemy's body. The advantage of Scavenger is you don't have to wait for a field upgrade. There really isn't much benefit to Scavenger unless you are good at slaying. Another perk in the S tier is going to be Bomb Squad, which reduces explosives from non kill streaks and also resets the fuse time when picking up a grenade. This is basically Flak Jacket and Blast Shield from past Call of Duties. It's definitely more balanced, especially compared to Flak Jacket in Cold War, because you can't survive getting hit directly from an RPG like you could in Black Ops Cold War. Whether you like to play the objective, camp, or try to be a hero like Captain America, Bomb Squad is a very powerful perk. Next up we have Tracker. I actually really like this perk, which is why I rank it in the A tier. You get to see enemy footprints and when you get a kill, it doesn't display the skull icon for the enemy team. Seeing the footprints on the floor chasing someone down is awesome. However, because the game is so campy, sometimes I don't even see footsteps because no one moves. The real strength of the perk is the removal of the skull icons which help pull off amazing flanks. A new addition to Modern Warfare 2 is going to be Strong Arm which allows us to throw equipment farther and gives us a visual of its trajectory. This is a B tier perk. In my opinion though, it's a very useful tool to use so you can learn how to throw nades because you can see where they land. I think this perk helps more for completing challenges because there are more valuable perks that we are able to use. Completing the base perks, we have Extra Tactical which is self-explanatory because it allows us to spawn with the additional tactical. This is a C tier perk. Similar to Strong Arm, there are much stronger perks that we can use. I've only used this perk to chuck decoy grenades in the middle of the map so I can earn more EXP and complete challenges. Moving on and starting off the bonus perks is resupply which gives us an additional lethal and we recharge our equipment every 25 seconds. This is a A tier perk, could even be S tier. My favorite thing to do with this perk is to chuck infinite semtexas into a hardpoint hill. You can also use this in a defensive campy manner where you can plant claymores or proximity mines on foolish rushers. Next we have spotter which gives us the power to spot enemy equipment. 
build upgrades and kill streaks through walls. You can also mark them for your team as well as hack them for your own use. I rank this perk in the B tier. I played multiple games with this on without even seeing a single trophy system, claymore or suppression mine to try to mark and hack for the team. It was just hard trying to get use out of spotter because my enemies would be using grenades, dead silence and other things that rendered spotter useless. Moving on to cold blooded, this is a A tier perk which makes you undetectable by kill streaks, thermal scopes and high alert. You're also immune from being marked by tactical cameras, recon drones and spotter scopes. I think everyone should have a emergency cold blooded class to shoot down kill streaks or you could use it to run around the map freely without being killed by the streaks. It can really throw off your enemies when they get killed in the middle of the map while they have streaks on the battlefield. Fast hands is up next and I rank this in the S tier. This perk speeds up our reload, weapon swap and allows us to throw equipment faster. I put it in the S tier because it synergizes really well with other perks like overkill, strong arm and extra tactical. It's also very beneficial to weapons with a slow reload like LMGs or light machine guns. I love rocking this perk because it's not reliant on your enemies like a perk like spotter. It's useful in almost every situation and there's barely any cons if any to using this perk. Moving on to Hardline which is a perk in almost every Call of Duty. It basically takes one last kill to acquire a kill streak and reduces the amount of score to receive a score streak by 125 points. I put this in the A tier because there are some powerful streaks in the game that you could use to change the tide of battle. Even the early streaks like a UAV is super helpful because of the nerfed minimap. Ending the bonus perk list is Focus which I think is a S tier perk. It reduces flinch and extends your hold breath duration. This is another perk similar to fast hands where there really isn't any cons. The one con I can think of is without focus. Sometimes you can get flinched and you end up headshotting your enemy by accident. Try playing a game with focus and without it and you can definitely feel the difference. I find myself winning a lot of gunfights over people who don't use this perk. Moving on to our ultimate perks, we are going to be starting off with high alert which is a B tier perk. What this perk does is it gives you a yellow indicator that a enemy spots you outside of your field of view. It's basically six cents and it can really help you figure out a location of a enemy. It does get countered by cold blooded and the game's time to kill in which it's hard to turn on your enemies because you die super fast in game. Next on the list we have Ghost which I rank as a S tier perk. This perk makes you undetectable by UAVs, portable radar and heartbeat sensors. It's also a soft counter to a advanced UAV so instead of showing up as a directional arrow you will appear on the minimap as a dot like a standard UAV when you have Ghost equipped. Now I could be overrating this perk since it's kind of busted right now because you could still show up on the radar even when you shoot a suppressed weapon. It also takes about 4 minutes to acquire because it's a ultimate perk but with the UAV spam going on in most lobbies due to the nerfed minimap I do think Ghost should be placed in the S tier. Quick Fix is the next S tier ultimate perk. When you kill a enemy you immediately regenerate your health and capturing objectives increases your health regeneration rate. This perk is very useful when you're going up against multiple enemies. It catches enemies off guard who think you are weak from a previous gunfight in which you regenerate your health increasing your chances of winning your next gunfight. Even though I rank it in the S tier similar to scavenger I think it's useless if you're not getting any kills. Our final S tier perk in the ultimate slot is going to be overclock. This grants us a additional field upgrade charge and increases our recharge rate by 40%. The 40% benefit is huge especially in search when you are looking to pop a field upgrade like dead silence. Overclock can help you spam things like trophy systems, munition boxes and dead silence. The possibilities are endless. It's also not dependent on outside factors like your enemy calling a UAV or you even getting a kill. Once you acquire this perk, it works passively in giving you more tools to succeed in the battlefield. Opposite to the S tiers, we have a C tier perk which is Survivor. 
This is basically last stand or final stand in previous Call of Duty games with the additional ability that your teammates can revive you. Survivor is the ultimate noob perk. The best way to use this perk is to annoy your enemies and to bait for your teammates. I found myself getting BM'd constantly once I was put in last stand. Sometimes I was lucky to survive a gunfight after being saved from a teammate. Overall, I do not recommend this perk unless you wish to troll and be annoying by making your enemies use additional bullets to get a kill. Finally, our last ultimate perk is Bird's Eye, which I rank in the B tier. This perk makes our minimap larger, and when a UAV is called, it gives us the direction the enemy is facing. It's not quite like an advanced UAV, where it's constantly showing us the enemy in real time. It's more of a UAV that shows us the direction our enemies are facing. I think the perk is really good when you have people spamming UAVs, but it's reliant on you or your teammates acquiring a UAV. The best thing about the perk is the enlarged minimap which gives you more information to pull from. That is it for my rankings. Let me know your opinions on the best perks in Modern Warfare 2 and what your favorite combinations are. My personal favorite combination is rocking Overkill, Bomb Squad, Past Hands, and Ghost or Overclock. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out and will improve your multiplayer experience. There are many combinations so experiment on the ones that work best for you. Other than that, namaste and I will talk to you all next time.